Hi, I'm Betsy. With three growing kids, a career, and aging parents, life's never dull. We depend on our health care team to keep us healthy. All of us had the flu at one point this winter, and my husband broke his leg sliding down the driveway. But the scariest episode was when my two-year-old, Sally, couldn't stop coughing. It turns out that she had whooping cough. We love our doctor's office. We love the nurse practitioner who sees us regularly. She's very knowledgeable. But sometimes there are questions she can't answer, which is why I'm glad she can turn to several of the physicians in her office for help. She had Dr. Jones take a second look at Sally. Dr. Jones was the one who suggested Sally get tested for whooping cough. I'm glad that she did. I recently heard that Pennsylvania is considering two bills that would allow nurse practitioners to practice without the involvement of a physician. They say there aren't enough doctors in Pennsylvania, especially in our rural areas, and that allowing more nurses to practice independently would help solve the problem. I'm not so sure, and apparently neither are a lot of people in Pennsylvania. In fact, according to a recent survey, nearly 8 out of 10 Pennsylvanians say they think it's a bad idea to let nurse practitioners practice without direct supervision of a physician. What's the difference, you say? Well. I said I have a career. I'm a paralegal. I work in a busy office with lots of attorneys. When I have a question, I ask one of the attorneys at our firm. I can do some pretty cool stuff for clients as a paralegal, but there are just some things I can't and shouldn't do. Attorneys have expertise I do not have and are good at complicated stuff. They did more years of school and took their bar exam. I'm happy to work on a team with them. It's similar to the way a healthcare team works. While nurse practitioners and other staff in my doctor's office are very knowledgeable, the physicians there are better trained to handle complicated cases and ask different kinds of questions about my family's health. Just look at how many more hours of training physicians receive than nurse practitioners. The truth is, the way my physicians and nurse practitioners work together now seems to be the best way to help my family stay healthy. It just makes more sense. They work to the best of their abilities in their office, just like I do at my workplace. If you agree, tell your state lawmakers.